All right, we're going to continue along on our unit. Um, today we're going to talk about irregular versus regular polygons. Now, a polygon is a closed shape with sides that are straight line segments. Each, uh, exactly two sides meet to make a vertex, so it has to have vertexes. Sides intersect only at the vertices, so they can't be crossing. That makes this shape a polygon and all of these non-polygons. This is a non-polygon because it crosses, this is a non-polygon because it's open, you can move into that shape, and this is a non-polygon because it does not have straight sides. There are also regular polygons, and a regular polygon has all sides equal and all angles equal. Um, a polygon also often goes by the name with the number of sides that it has. So, for example, this would be a triangle. It has three sides. All sides are equal in length and all angles are equal. This is a square. Four sides. All angles equal. All sides equal. Five-sided polygon would be called a pentagon, and this would be a regular pentagon. All sides equal. All angles equal. Whereas an irregular pentagon, which is still possible, would be like a house shape. So all of these sides may be equal length, but they definitely do not have equal angles as some are 90 degrees and some are obtuse. Here we also have a six-sided shape, which makes this a heptagon. And it is a regular heptagon because all sides are equal. You can still have an irregular heptagon um, without all sides equal. And this one would be an octagon with all sides equal as well. An important thing to notice is that a regular polygon has lines of symmetry. And in fact, the number of sides that it has indicates the number of lines of symmetry. Uh, sometimes that line of symmetry is going from corner to corner, as you see here. Sometimes it would be from corner to the middle of another edge, as you see there. Even uh, shaped, even sided shapes where they have even number of sides, would often go corner to corner, and odd number sided shapes would go from point to edge, I suppose. There are also irregular polygons. They do not have all sides equal and do not have all angles equal. However, they are still polygons, so they are still closed. They still have straight sides. They do not intersect. Um, so they are still all polygons, but they're irregular because their sides are unequal. All right, take a moment and press pause. Um, and while you've pressed pause, please answer these questions. The first one, explain why each of these shapes is not a polygon. So what about each of these shapes is wrong? And number two, for each of these polygons, are they regular polygons or not? And explain, remember explain means you have to use words. Use words to tell me why you know each of these is either regular or irregular. Um, press pause and please do that now. All right, if we take a look at number one, uh, 1A, whether or not it is a polygon, well, the answer would be no, it is not a polygon because it does have uh, lines that intersect, as you can see, um, so it cannot be a polygon. As well, B is not a polygon because it is not a closed shape. It is an open shape, as in you can go into it. So that is not a polygon. All right, if we were to take a look at 2A and tell whether or not this polygon is regular, remember for a polygon to be regular, it has to have equal sides and equal angles. It can't be or, it has to be and. So A, if you look at these sides, from my look at them, they're probably all equal. So I'm not going to focus on sides, I'm going to focus on angles. And I'm going to take a look at these angles. Well, there's an acute. Oh shucks, there's an obtuse, and an obtuse, and an obtuse, and an obtuse, oh, and another acute. So obviously they are not um, equal angles, which would make this a non-polygon. Let's take a look at B. Well, B looks to me like all of the angles are about equal and all of the sides are about equal. So at this point I would need to pull out my ruler and actually measure those sides to confirm. Um, yes, we have two centimeters on that side. Two, two, two. 
So yes, that would be a regular polygon. And in fact, we could even be more specific. We could tell what kind of a polygon this is, and this would be a regular pentagon because it has five sides. Penta, remember, is for five. C, let's take a look. Um, angles all look equal, so it could be a regular polygon. However, if you look at the sides, note they are definitely not equal. So this is not a regular polygon. It's an irregular polygon. Whoops, I just noticed I made a mistake up here. This should also be an irregular polygon, not a non-polygon. Irregular polygon. All right, you now get to go practice. You are going to be working actually today in maximizing math. Um, that is the other resource that we've been using, page 208 to 209, numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. And remember, as you're working, if you have questions, that you please ask.